welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. And today we're going to be taking a look at the highlights of our sales on the Posh platform from the month of May. I have pulled up all, or all two, both of the plush that sold on the platform to show you. And then the rest of the sales are highlights from the month. And not every single sale that we had. I try to just pull stuff that um, to sh that would be good for you guys to learn or look for when you're outsourcing. Um, we did pretty good on Poshmark in May. The volume on there was up a little bit over the past few months. Macari also and eBay had been slow. So that just goes um, to show you why it's so important to cross post. I haven't ever really been so lucky as, oh my gosh, all the platforms are blowing up at once and we're making tons of sales. But it's always, well, when this one is slow, these three will pick up. Or when these two are slow, these three over here will pick up. So it's just a good idea not to have all your eggs in one basket. And if you're going to start cross-posting, you know I'm going to recommend List Perfectly because it is my favorite, favorite tool for our business. You can get your first month 30% off to try it out with our code Flippin' Hippos. And if you didn't know, if you already use List Perfectly and you want to upgrade, you can upgrade for 30% off your first month and uh, see how you like the upgraded subscription. Code Flippin' Hippos. Let's jump in here with what we're looking at. Disneyland, Walt Disney World chip. So you guys saw our Dale on the Macari video that came out probably yesterday, I hope. I'm not sure when I'm going to be publishing these on the YouTube. But uh, we did sell a chip and we sold a Dale in the month of May because their new movie came out. And they're popular again. They're so cute, though. They're chipmunks, guys. Rodents are cute. Look at his little face. Anyway, Chip came out of a wholesale box. He was about a dollar. And you know what? He sold for $23 plus on Poshmark. Keep in mind, the buyer pays the shipping. So you make a little bit more on Poshmark. This would probably have sold for maybe $20, maybe $25 on eBay or Macari. But we offer free shipping there. So I always love when stuff sells on Poshmark. You guys might remember this maple zebra from like 20,000 years ago. <laughs> I found it at the Goodwill and I was so excited and I brought it home and it actually comped at $50 two or three years ago. And plush are very long tail and they tend to sit for a while. So, you know, once or twice a year, I go through our old inventory and just kind of double check that it's comped correctly. Things can go up in price. For instance, Chippendale, you can raise the prices on when the new movie came out. On the Jelly Cat, on the other hand, it comped around 30 when I recomped it. It was about two, three months ago in February. Very disappointing that a plush that used to be worth 50 or sell for 50 on a regular basis is now coming in around 30. Um, so you guys know every video I have to mention it. It's my ob obligatory fussing at the turds. Stop racing to the bottom. Jelly Cat used to be a huge bolo brand that would go for mega money. Ugh. Anyway, when I recomped it, I repriced it, of course, and I put it on Poshmark for a little bit more. It was like up for 30 on eBay and uh, sold for 34 plus they paid shipping. So not too shabby. That would have been like 40 on eBay, you know, if the shipping was built in. So still a good sale for what I paid for it. But it's just so disconcerting to me that just every year, every month, every day, just brands that I used to sell for so much money and aren't anymore. Stop chasing that fast nickel. You are trashing the entire market. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. Affliction Extreme Couture. Uh, Affliction is a good brand. Um, it always has been. It's kind of um, down in value, as you can see here. A shirt like this five years ago, I would have listed for 25 or 30. This one sold for 16 on Poshmark. So that's, you know, pretty good considering it's 
pure profit. There's no shipping cost. But again, this is another. Didn't I just say I was off my soapbox? Okay, moving forward. CJ Banks corduroy pants. I like corduroy pants. Believe it or not, folks, they're not a thing of the past and they are still in style. And I have done well with them the entire um, time that we've been reselling. And they these are plus size too, which always helps. But yeah, corduroy pants I do really well with. These sold for 18. And just so you're in case you're wondering, all of the items on Poshmark that we ship, unless they require a box, they ship in padded flats. Even if it's lightweight and it would have been first class shipping on any other platform, on Poshmark, the buyers pay the shipping and Poshmark has a deal with the USPS that anything under five pounds goes priority. So we ship everything in padded flats. Why? Because you can get those for free. You can go to the USPS.com website and you can get those for free. So you're not paying for the supplies. And then we save our poly bags for first class on other platforms. Levi's 527 low boot cut jeans. These are men's. Got these at Salvation Army for five bucks on half off day. I believe. Now that I'm actually looking at these, I think these might have come out of a thread up box, which meant they were only $1.75 or $1.74, around there somewhere. These sold for $22. Levi's Denizen Women's Jean Shorts. These definitely came out of a thread up box. I remember these. Denizen's like the low end of Levi's that you can get at like Walmart. But jean shorts, denim shorts, booty shorts. Even Walmart brands you can get, you know, 12, 14 bucks for. And a lot of instances you can get more for the shorts than the full length jeans in many of the brands. These sold for 15. Abercrombie and Fitch is allegedly a low end mall brand, a poop brand, a brand that nobody wants to touch anymore. But these um, were mom jeans. Mom jeans do really well, especially when um, they're a good size. And these are ripped. I don't know if that added to the value. But these came in a thread up box. I sold them for 34 bucks. I know a lot of people would pass Abercrombie and Fitch up on the racks. Just be wary that you're looking at the styles as well. Because it's not always just about the brand. It can be about the style. When it comes to men's shirts, it can be about the size and the graphics. So just be aware that there's always an exception to every rule. And if it's a poop or a low-end brand, that doesn't mean it always is. Because these sold for $34, and you got to think the buyer also paid um, shipping on top of that. Uh, Denim Company Women's Jean Jacket. Jean jackets are kind of like um, denim shorts and booty shorts. I'm not particular about the brands. Of course, this came in a thread-up box, but... Jean jackets, even generic -y brands or low-end brands, you can sell for 20 to 25 bucks. And this one sold for 20. This naked, 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 this naked, this naked turtle shirt. <laughs> I'm vintage Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The naked turtles. <laughs> this was in a wholesale box. It was about a dollar cost of goods. It's a kid's vintage. And we got 18 bucks for it, which is pretty good for kids. And you can see Splinter there. He's a rat. I like him because he's a rodent. All right, next up, we have a Coldwater Creek women's dress. This came out of a wholesale box as well. Cost was about a dollar. Um, I did steam this. Full disclosure, I don't steam a lot of items. But when I think they're going to be worth some money, I will. And this was linen. Linen likes to get wrinkled really easily, quickly, and very much. <laughs> like, you can have a linen dress you pull out of a box of wholesale that you purchased, and it's just like a big old wrinkled mess. So I did um, steam it. It is linen. Linen is a good fabric. You can charge more for linen clothing. Coldwater Creek. Most people think it's a poop brand. 
But again, it's linen. It's new with tags. It's a nice sleeveless summer dress. It's really cute. Sold it for 35 bucks. Nike Air Jordan Jumpman Flight Plate Men Sneakers. Y'all, these sneakers and me have a history. And it's a love-hate relationship. I found these at a huge community-wide yard sale in 2018. It would, may have been 19. Uh, we went to this community yard sale every year back in Pittsburgh. And it was always like a day or two right before I would leave to go to Vegas for eBay Open. And they were around for so long that I get my years mixed up. But it was probably 19. I saw them. They were like five bucks. And I knew what they were worth. But they're shoes. And they were dirty. And they were gross. And uh, <laughs> you guys know I feel about shoes. They're so cringy. I can't even look at the bottoms of those. Uh, uh. Anyway, they literally came home, got put up in the attic or what we used to affectionately call the serial killer room of the Victorian house we lived in out there. And they sat there for years. And then I finally brought them downstairs like last summer, right before we moved to Florida. And um, my youngest son had come to visit and he was like, I'll clean them for you. They don't bother me. And I'm like, okay, if they're not going to gross you out. I set them up, you know, with the scrub brush, some warm soapy water, a magic eraser, paper towels. Awesome. I just set them up. I paid them like five bucks to clean them up really, really good. And then I went ahead and listed them. Now, I had them at $50 for the longest time. And again, when they didn't move in that whole entire year, just recently I recomped them. And I just got rid of them for 30 bucks. Listen, they've been around for three years I got 10 bucks into them now between the cleaning and the cost of goods. So um, posh fees are like 20%. So 24, I made 14 bucks on something that was sitting in an attic for years. I really need to learn. Um, I don't like shoes, but I do, I will deal with them because I do believe in pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. That's the only way to make progress and to learn new things. But they really, 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 really skeeve me out. They are so effing disgusting. So I have to be more particular when I sort shoes. I got to make sure that they're either ready to go or just need like a quick wipe down or something that I can deal with. That is the story of my Nike Air Jordan Jumpman Flight Plate Men's Sneakers. Thank you for attending my Shoes Are Disgusting TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> moving forward to this this shirt was in a wholesale lot and I thought oh my god whose grandmother from 1960 put this in there but I mean we've had this for a couple years too it took a long time but it finally found the right owner and if the owner's listening um sorry not sorry about my grandma comments I mean it's a pretty shirt but do y'all know it weighed over a pound all of these beads, all of this embellishment, this shirt was so heavy. It's pretty, though. And, you know, I put in, um, ooh, my title got cut off. Hey, there's another mistake y'all shouldn't make. Make sure you're staying within the characters when you're typing your titles out. Don't get overzealous with your keywords. Um, that would have said holiday. It's a nice shirt. It sold for 35 bucks. Beautiful shirt. Gorgeous shirt. Grandmas wouldn't wear that shirt. It's a nice shirt. All right, next up we have Lila Ryan. This is a new to me brand that came in a throw that box. So I was able to um, discover this brand. It's button fly. I would get these if the cost of goods was two bucks or less. Kind of like the American Eagle mindset of bread and butter. They sold for 22. Democracy. Okay, so Democracy is a brand I used to sell for $40, but I promised I was off that soapbox. But I'm just telling you, I used to sell used democracy for 40 or 45 bucks. The thing is, is it has app technology, which is a lot like the Not Your Daughter's Jeans tummy talk technology. And any jeans that are shaping, slimming, in any type of way, I always tell people, make sure you grab them. Women love jeans that slim them, shape them, lift them, all that good stuff. 
these don't go for what they used to. Um, yeah, they don't even have any. I was checking to see if they had damage, but they didn't. Nothing's wrong with them, except for they aren't worth what they used to. Um, but these are pretty. Like, look at the flare. I like jeans. You all know I really like jeans. Um, I live in jeans. I love wearing jeans. I like looking at jeans. I like sourcing and flipping them. But sometimes I just look at jeans and I'm like, man, that is a nice looking pair of jeans. Maybe I'm weird. No, I am weird. Okay, so these sold for 23. Next up, American Eagle Pearl Snap shirt. Got this at Salvo, Salvation Army. Half off day, about $1.49. And I grabbed it because it's a Pearl Snap shirt. And y'all know me and Keith and our Pearl Snap shirts. Between those and the vintage fishing shirts, <laughs> we are so obsessed. Um, but they do well. They sell fast. They sell for good money. Even brands like American Eagle. This is a really nice, pretty blue and pink women's pearl snap. So it came home with me. It sold for $17. And this plain black Real Legends shirt. I wanted to show this because Real Legends is a brand that we usually get men's, um, the vintage fishing shirts or women's. And sometimes they're solid colors. Sometimes they're plaid or whatever. They're a lot like the Columbia PFGs. Um, this was a dollar at our honey pot thrift here when we went there in April, I believe it was a dollar. And I thought, you know what? I know we do really, really well with the vintage fishing shirts. I want to see what I can do with the long sleeve performance top and it's only a buck. So I'm going to try it. And then I used all those good keywords like performance top, fishing, outdoors. This is good for hunting, hiking, camping. These are the kinds of things people are looking for in the summer. So for 18 bucks. And last but not least, this shirt that came in a wholesale lot, I want to say two years ago. We've had it for a while. Its cost was about a dollar. It's a nice horror shirt. And to be honest with you, if it, if it wasn't a men's small, which wouldn't fit me, um, I would have kept it if it would have been something that I could have fit into. And this is a pretty radical shirt, y'all. It's pretty awesome, especially if you're a horror movie fan. So anyway, it sold for 25 bucks here on Poshmark. And just keep in mind all these prices you see on here, um, the buyer pays shipping in addition to that. So you can get higher prices on Poshmark. I know a lot of folks don't like to mess with it because of the sharing aspect. We share our closet once a day. Um, you're supposed to share it three times a day. There's some people that just set it and forget it. It's another platform to sell on. So even if you don't have the time to dedicate to sharing all the time, you should put your items on there. Now, best practices, I have to tell you as a, you know, influencer and a teacher on YouTube, best practices, three times a day, you should be sharing. But if you don't have time for that, I can't in good faith tell you not to list there at all. It's better to list there and have stuff there and get a couple sales here and there than to not have any sales at all. And again, if you want to try List Perfectly, you can try 30% off your first month. Flippin' Hippos is the code you use. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Both of those will help us out so, so much in the algorithm and really help support what we do here on this channel. And we appreciate it. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. I put a link down there for you. You can just look for us right on Facebook. And hey, you know what? Until next time, go make some money. Go be productive. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys. Y'all are the best. Bye.